Hey guys, so when the time comes for you to reassemble the air horn or air valve, there are a few things that can can be a little confusing. And if you've gone to the to this extent of removing this shaft, this little lever, and the secondary's um, cam, well, unless you took a lot of pictures, you may be wondering how does this thing fit in here this as you can see has let's call it a half moon shape and so does the shaft also worth mentioning is the shaft has this little ledge here you can feel it when you run your your fingernail so it is raised just just enough to kind of help secure this cam in place. So, just to go over operation of this, of this valve, or the air horn, you're gonna have the um, secondary flaps, door, and these go in here like this. And their operation basically consists opening and closing, that's it. And there they are actuated by the shaft and um, we'll go into the little cam in a, in a sec now you can see here how these are shaped and that corresponds with this flat section of the shaft so they would sit like that and again when you when they're closed let's say roughly in this position and then you give it gas and this the vacuum actuates the the doors then they would open and at different you know at different degrees of course based on on how the uh, carburetor is uh, calibrated at the same time you have this funky looking lever and this lever is what opens the secondary metering rods now this, again this lever, fits in this channel right in the middle in between the, the doors and this hole here is where the whole thing pivots. There's a tiny little roll pin that goes in here. So when this one is in here, I'm going to use something here just to hold it in place. So this lever is what moves the secondary metering rods along with this part here. By the way, you'll notice here this one is threaded, this little hole. There's a, a small screw that secures this secondary metering rods hanger right here. And of course, as you're putting this back together, you would have already your metering rods in place so when this is working the action is as follows the doors start to open and this is the action it doesn't need a lot of movement to raise and, and fully open those secondary metering rods so again you have to have the cam in here for this to operate properly and let me get this one out of the way. So, this little plastic cam again goes right here in the middle and is moved by the um, by this shaft. So, as you're reinstalling this whole thing, putting it back together, how does this go? Like this or like that? And the quick answer is this is the way that it's supposed to be. If you have it installed or you try to install it like this, it's not gonna it's not gonna work. And it may not even fit. Or you may break it. Now by the way, speaking of breaking things, these get brittle with age. This one isn't actually in perfect condition, so I'm just gonna reuse it. But these are available through, you know, uh, a couple of quadrajet parts vendors. So again, 
and I don't know if they're all identical. This one has some numbers. Those numbers would go facing the left side of the, uh, of the vehicle, in, in a sense. So this side, and I don't know if you can make out, there's a couple little, I'm not gonna say arrows, but some kind of little design. And um, this is a side, and in this position is where this is gonna be made it to the, to the shaft. And again, speaking of that little ledge there, that's what, I mean, this one fits in here very easily. Once you get to that point, that kind of provides a little bit of resistance. So this one kind of stays in place there, will not fall off. So again, this is the position where you want this um, cam to be in. And of course, you know, I'm trying to film this at the same time. This is a little hard to do uh, as I'm trying to, to film, but you would insert this shaft through here. And then what you're trying, you're trying to do is kind of line it up with a half moon shape on the, um, on this little plastic cam. And just be patient once they line up the shaft will and you don't you do not want to apply a lot of force here i kind of have the camera in the way here so i'm not able to see very well what i'm doing there we go once it goes through then that is you're able to push this all the way in and as you can see immediately the cam starts operating correctly and just to recap, I want to remove this little lever thing. And remember this one has a hole back here where it pivots. You just try to line it up there. And again, this is just for demonstration purposes. Once this is in place, oops, up and down. That's all it needs because remember you have this hanger that is secured with a little screw. And that is how the secondary metering rods will open and close based on how this thing moves. It, it, it is pretty pretty hard to explain all of this while I'm trying to film and um, and again I'm at a weird angle. So I hope this makes some sense and that it helps you if you are kind of stumped by reassembling this air horn and uh, you don't do not remember how this cam will or should fit in there you don't want to put the whole car back together with this facing the wrong way and uh, end up with a with a lot of issues so anyway if you have any comments or questions please leave them below and again i i hope this is um helpful so thanks for watching i'll see you next time take care